The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 18th, the fabulous Friday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We do not make that one little two by four shift. Well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. More important than that, though, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can send an email like Dan from New York City has done here. Just send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on a fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Less Show. Right now, we got a mixed bag out here. You've got the transports are trading lower, off 273 points, one and six tenths percent. It's FedEx that's leading that charge. The downside that's off nearly 12 bucks or five percent. Otherwise, the Dow's up 25, basically flat. The s and up half a percent, 24 points, one and three tenths for the Nasdaq 100. That's 191 points. Russell's up a half. Off is up a half a percent, 10 points, 1.6 percent for the semis. That's 54 points. You've got gold trading out at 1928. That's back 14 bucks, three quarters of a percent. Silver's down two two percent, 52 cents. She's trade out at 2509. Lights we crude up a buck ninety. 10488 is the print there. Natural gas back 12 pennies, trading out at 486. It's just struggling to get above the top of that daily profile. And the 30-year Treasury is up uh, nearly one point. It's trading out at 152.12. Lead the charge, by the way, dollar-wise, the upside. It's Amazon, 45 bucks. Booking holdings, 37. Mercado Libre, 32. Tesla's up 29. And uh, Mongodbolo is up uh, 24 buckaroonies. To the downside, it is O'Reilly Automotive, 22 bucks, 3%. Avis Budget Group, down 7%, 21 bucks. FedEx, as we mentioned before. That's down nearly 12 bucks. Asbury Automotive Group off eight. That's four and a half percent. Charter Communications down a little over one percent, or about eight buckaroonies. So let's begin with the let's begin with the play by play. And to do that, we're going to change screens. Should have had this set up here. Change windows. Let me get over to that screen. We're going to look at the 30 minute time frame charts now. What's interesting about this set of charts here is you'll see we don't have any uniformity. Um, we don't have a unanimous message out here. You do have the ES Mini for its 30-minute time frame that formed a TD9 count, completed a TD9 count pattern at 1 p.m. But if price closes above that high, now that high specifically is 44, oops, 44.16.25, I think it was 44.16.50. And we're above it right now. A close above, make sure I got that right. No, it's 44.25.50. 44.25.50. We're above it by three ticks right now. If we do get a close at 130 above that level, that says a strong momentum move to the upside. Now, it's not getting that confirmation just yet from the NQ, so you'd want to see that signal as well. It is only in bar number nine right now. That says it could form a short-term top between now and 2 p.m out there so those are the two things to uh, pay attention to the Russell 2000 actually has a roads momentum indicator top if this were to close above the high of that pattern that's the high from 1030 that high by the way is 
It is. I wish it was easier. Uh, 2073.30. If price were to close above that, negates that pattern signal, but that's what's in play right now. So that's on the short term side. So let's go take a look at a bit of the uh, bigger picture. I think to do that, Let's do this here. We're going to change screens again. We're going to get over. It's going to show you uh, momentarily. It's going to show you the four daily time frame charts out here for the equity futures. But I think what I will do here is we'll just switch this up. And we'll just go to the multi time frame, the eight panel chart for the ES mini and start picking it apart that way. So as we take a look at it, here is what we know. First of all, you've got a TD nine count top for the monthly time frame. Price below the oscillator and change line always opens the door for a potential test of 37.20. But the only way you're going to get there is the weekly has to close. It has to bust out its TD9 count breakout level, which was 41.26.75. It has not done that. It tested it this week. It tested it three weeks ago. There's no bottoming signal out here. And in fact, the uh, TD9 count that is present is going to vanish. Well, it would vanish if this were the close right now, because that would be a close above the close of bar number five the close of bar number five is that close was 43.44.25 so if price closes above that 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 td nine count goes away it doesn't matter it's still even though you've got a nine count the low is on bar number six so it doesn't qualify as a bottom but it does qualify as a bottom from this standpoint price pulling back to support so you pull back to support you've held, where is price likely targeting? I would say that green oscillator and change line, currently printed at 4503. If we take a look at the ES Mini, now the white background charts here are going to have different profile levels than a couple of the black background charts that I showed. Doesn't matter. They're all accurate. They're all providing this information. And right now in a daily time frame, the, uh, so I said uh, if we take out that TD9 count on the ES Mini for the 30-minute chart, it would su suggest a strong momentum move for that time frame to the upside. And that's true. But we also have to understand the bigger picture. Where is the next level of resistance? Where are the fighters at? The fighters should be at the top of the profile. And that top is at 41.70.70. So that would be the area to be watching today. If price can clear that, that's a signal of moving back to 45.14. That uh, lines up with our 45.03 area on the weekly oscillator and change line. And that would really be its signals out there. Other than a 30-minute time frame chart, there is no other topping pattern is in place out here. So maybe suspect that it's going to form any kind of uh, top of significance out here. And that's what the charts for the ES Mini show. Let's do this. Let's go take a look at the NQ charts to finish off this uh, uh, segment of the uh, show. So we'll punch those up on the screen. And here when we take a look at the NQ, similar pattern, TD9 count, and also Rhodes Mintum indicator. No, I take that back. It only has a Rhodes Mintum indicator top, monthly time frame. Price got back pretty close to the uh, breakout level of 12.207, but didn't do that. And we didn't get two weekly closes below its breakout area in the weekly base of 13,462. Now, here you do have a valid TD9 count bottom. Whenever you get a valid top or bottom signal, what typically happens then is price then makes a beeline for that oscillator and change line. I can't tell you why. I just can tell you what the typical pattern is. So the beeline here for the NQ is 14,717 or thereabouts. If price rises, that line's going to move up come down the same type of thing but you got the valid bottom on the weekly basis valid bottoming pattern you've got the valid bottoming pattern on a daily basis the daily says the next level of resistance is 14.479 above that then you're up to the uh, td9 count breakdown level and that's currently priced at 14.771 so where's price likely headed to i think we're looking at that 14.717 level of course, from an intraday standpoint, it's still that 30-minute chart that we'll be paying attention to. It says you could see a short-term top by the time your favorite polar bear comes online. That would be at 2 p.m. Be right now. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Still a mixed bag out here. Uh, all the indices trading to the, high, uh, to the upside, with the exception of the transports are down 1.5% uh, or 250 points. Let's go to our question from the Tiger's Den. And this is from uh, Coda, who wants to take a look at the uh, ticker symbol is S. PLV. That is the S&P Low Volatility ETF out here. Code, I'll try to make this pretty easy uh, for us. First, on a daily basis, you can see the TD9 count and the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. You can also see it's 65.15. That's your TD9 count breakdown resistance area. The top of the profile is at the uh, 65, where is it? Uh, 65.22 level. Um, so you're, you're trading really right into resistance. Now, even if price can clear this level, your really key level of resistance, this after forming wave number seven, peak G on the uh, screen out here, uh, price pulled all the way back, in essence, to its breakout level of 60.80. It's that oscillator and change line. That's going to be uh, where the real battle takes place. Currently printing at 65.64. So you got 65.64 as resistance. You've got uh, 65.15 and 65.22. Basically, it's pretty easy. Here, it's trading right up into the uh, resistance of the snipers out there. And if you can clear all those areas, well, then um, you'd be above 65.64. And that says 66.16 would then be the next battleground. So basically, I would prepare. I'd get all your bullets out here because uh, that's what this equity is doing. It's going to take on those resistance levels. You also wanted to look at gold and silver. So let's go switch over to our eight panel chart here for gold. Gold pulling back and testing the uh, bottom of its daily profile. That's around the 1920 uh, level. We're above that area. Uh, here you didn't, uh, be, I, I, you know, it, price just simply pulled back to its breakout area. It's above the bottom of that daily profile of 1920-60. As long as it remains above that quota, price should make a move to 1971. From a short-term standpoint, if I'm looking for any kind of real significant signals out here, 
I'm just not seeing them. Doesn't mean they don't exist. It just means right now they're just not popping up uh, at me at this stage of the game. So that's what's going on with regard to Goldilocks. If we take a look at high ho silver, which is off, I believe, a couple of percent this morning, it too is trading with inside a new daily profile, Coda. And that new daily profile has got support at about the 2497 level. So uh, what else can I share with you here? I'd have to say not much. Now, what I don't see with regard to silver on an intraday basis is really any kind of bottoming signal. You're starting to trade below the bottom of its 30-minute profile. I don't know if it will close below that or not. If it does, by the way, that happens to be 2509, and we're trading at 2509 basically right now. That would suggest lower price without seeing any kind of a bottom out here. Um, so it does look like you could see, you know, silver pull back. But 24, what was it, 2497? Uh 2497 should hold that support. You know, I don't have Ethereum, but there is a ETF for Ethereum, isn't there? What's the ETF? If you tell me the ETF for Ethereum, I can't ETH. -E oh, hey, boy, Stevie. Stevie is uh, really quick, isn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Code. I appreciate that. So we can take a look at that. And since you've asked for it, if you give me a moment here, now it'll take a few moments to populate the uh, charts out here. You're welcome. Uh, so let's go ahead. First, we just had to get to that panel, E-T-H-E. And that's the ETF that represents Ethereum. And, uh, yeah, through eSignal, I don't get that. I wish they, I wish they were, would provide more of the uh, crypto uh, stuff, but, but they don't, and so it is what it is. Um, so we're just waiting here for these charts to uh, populate. You can see it's trading out at 23.95, and there we go. So now we take a look at Ethereum. What do we have out here? So on a weekly basis, this uh, generated a, a wave number seven, letter G. That's the top out here, and it created a TD9 count bottom. You're inside a bullish structured profile with a oscillator and change line that recently changed colors. So, Cody, you know the game plan here, and that is that price should go target 2569. If price can clear 2569, 2972 would be the print. Then the uh, daily time frame here, what do we have? We got wave number seven as the bottom out here. That took place on December 24th. Takes price up to resistance, the uh, TD9 count breakdown resistance level. Price should retarget that. That's 26.59. The reason I say that is because price is above the top of the daily profile out there. So we got 25.69 showing up, 25.68 on the weekly. And on a 195 minute chart, it does say that you're going to form bar number eight. This bar here closes at 4 p.m. So yeah, if this would be a suggestion that you could see an Ethereum top maybe Sunday night uh, sometime out here. That's what that says. But the 130 and a 65-minute chart say, I'm not sure what you're smoking, Steve-O, and even the 30-minute chart because they are negating their TD9 count. So, um, yeah, Ethereum looks like it uh, really, I, I just I'm going to default back to 2568 is the very likely target. So I do hope that helps you out. Uh, do we have uh, Bitcoin? Let's see if I've got it open out here. Do I have it open? Do I have Stevie open it? He did not. Um, we'll go ahead and, and uh, pop this open, see if uh, see if this will populate fairly quickly for us and see if it has a similar type of a message to Ethereum. And if it doesn't open up, it seems to be open up pretty quickly. So, you know, Coda, here you've got a, a TD9 count bottom as well that formed. And it's oscillator and change line is likely its price target as well. And that's at 42,978. If price can clear 42,978, then you're looking at a move up to 43,224. And then above that, you'd be looking at 45,455. Now, the 30 minute chart has a TD9 count top that's going to complete uh, this half hour. So, you want to watch that high. This suggests that we should see a pullback. That pullback could take you all the way down to 40,983 or thereabouts. It's the 30 minute time frame chart that is the only one with a topping pattern. So I'd say that's what you would be watching there. Um, but over the longer haul, it looks like price should make another run for 42,974. So I do hope that helps you out, Coda. That was like a four or five requester out there. And I just dropped an extra nickel in the Stevie's piggy bank out there. Dan wrote in, and Dan wants to take a look at the IBB. And the IBB, he actually wants to take a look at LABU, which is the 3X of the IBB. And so to get uh, uh, Dan better signals, and he doesn't mind me doing this, we're going to really focus in on the IBB. So I'm currently in LABU, which is similar to the IBB. He had a nice reversal on the daily and weekly. 
TD9. It looks like it's moving past resistance on the OUO. What do you think? Well, Dan from New York City, uh, this has a TD9. Oh, that's still Bitcoin. What the? Oh, man, did I really do that? I wasn't paying attention. I did do that. Oh, man. Hold on a second here. i got to just clean up a mess that I created. And um, tell you what I'm going to do here. It's going to be a couple of different things. I'm going to get the black background charts going. And I need to move to a different set of charts here on the white charts. So uh, this is where I wish I could really talk and tell you a good story at the same time that I'm trying to do some housekeeping here. And unfortunately, I just don't have that skill set. I'll start to tell you a story and then I'll forget what the heck I was talking about. So with regard to IBB out here, it is trading above the top of its daily profiles. We're gonna let this here uh, go ahead and populate, but I'm just looking at my black background screen out there. And it is trading with inside its uh, weekly bullish structure profile. So a close today, Dan, above the 129.03 level is gonna suggest to move to 138. 83 and that's the top of the weekly profile so this thing here is populated right now uh, the daily time frame shows you that nice TD9 count bottom we also had a Rogeman indicator signal that uh, formed or completed on March 16th so price should go target in the IBB 133.34 and that would bode well for LABU but we'll finish take a look at the IBB as soon as we get back to the screen. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. Uh, one of our uh, dinners, Dan uh, from Boston, was kind enough to uh, uh, let us know, Dan, that the uh, XBI is actually the more accurate ETF, the single ETF to take a look at uh, for the LABU. So I've switched over to that out here. And when we take a look at the uh, XBI, and this is more helpful to you, on a monthly basis, you can see a valid TD9 count bottom that formed after a TD9 count top. So the TD9 count top takes us right back to the breakout level, 89.45. There's not a single human being that I know of, at least with inside the TFNN community, that would have chosen 89.45 as a breakout level. You look at where price stopped. Remember, we're looking at the body of the candle. The uh, wicks or the uh, shadows of the uh, candles, those are just the screaming memes. Those are the emotions during that time period. But it's really the body of the candle that is the essence of price. Now, on a weekly basis out here, you are now confirming a rose momentum indicator bottom pattern for that time frame. And price is trying to close above the center of its bullish structured profile, which is at 90.95. So, Dan, this is suggesting that the XBI should make a move to 101.55. You have a uh, bottoming signal here, but no bullish reversal candle on the daily time frame. Uh, but nonetheless, price is above the top of its daily profile. Now, there is a descending trend line that is trading into right now. You don't see it on this screen. It's on my other screen. No reason for me to, to share it, to, 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 to kind of switch back and forth. You can just believe me that right now, right here, where we're at, at about the 92.33 level, is a real resistance area. Now, we look at the short-term time frame charts. The 130-minute is going to form, or appears that it will form, a, a TD9 count top uh, today. You've got a TD9 count on the 65-minute chart. But even though you've got that uh, on the 65-minute chart, price is above the profile. It's green oscillator and change line. So the signal is muted, and that really means that it's more neutral neutral to bullish and it is bearish as we look at it 30 minute chart the same type of pattern td9 count but price has been able to hold that momentum that oscillator and change line uh, level which is green so again it's more neutral than anything else so that's really your review uh what you're looking for which is lebu and then keep uh, keep watching xbi and again uh, thanks dan inside the uh, tiger's den for alerting us uh to that best to uh, review what uh what's going to be more uh what the underlying instrument really is. So Nancy writes in, Nancy wants to take a look at Amazon. AMZN, of course, is the ticker symbol. Nancy writes in, she says, Steve, I'm considering buying a contract in Amazon because it's due to split in June. Um, would like a good entry point in the stock, please. My opinion would, my option would expire in April. Looking to capture some decent, uh, well, yes, yes, my show is live today. If you're listening. So I, I, I guarantee you I'm alive. At least right now, 133. I hope that's the same thing tomorrow, 133, and the day after, and, and many, many more to come. But with regard to Amazon, on a weekly basis, the pattern that you have here, Nancy, is a TD9 count bottom. The price right now is above the oscillator and change line. It has not been above the oscillator and change line for two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a bunch of weeks uh, for about three months. So that is a positive development. And that means a close above 3097 should get us up into the 3328 level or 3483 area. On a daily time frame, you have a confirmed Roach Mintum indicator bottom. That took place, oh, not last, uh, not last week is when that took place. Oh, sorry about that. Washington Island, Wisconsin. Interesting. Don't know who's up. Uh, if we take a look at uh, Amazon, you can see on a daily basis, Nancy, price running into resistance. Now, it doesn't have a topping pattern, but it is running into resistance, which is pretty much held at the 3194.69 level. So close above that would be a short-term positive signal and suggest a move to 3276 or 3428. As far as other topping signals out here, the 130-minute chart says, I've got no interest in topping. It formed a TD9 count top on its last 130-minute bar, which that ended at 1140. And uh, uh, the, this bar right here will complete at uh, 1350. So that is in about uh, less than 20 minutes out here, about 16 minutes from now. So a close above that high, that high, by the way, is... Is... Uh, 3185.23 says strong momentum move to the upside. Kind of getting that same message from the 65-minute uh, chart. Um, boy, it really was attempting to form a top out here. When I look at the 65, the 130, the 15-minute chart. but um, and, and you're up at resistance on the daily time frame. Nonetheless, the short-term time frame charts, the intraday charts are signaling that, no, this wants to continue to move higher. So you're asking for a good entry point on something that's got this momentum to the upside. 
and these tops don't seem to be holding. So without that, it really becomes hard to give you the entry point. Uh, at right now, the way this is trading, it would be a pullback to the green oscillator and change line. Uh, here's what I'm going to suggest that you do. Just be patient on this. So you've got the trade set up. You want to be able to buy a pullback. Um, come back to this on Monday. Sometime on Monday out here, maybe, you know, other than just chasing it here, because maybe, and what I'm really looking and focusing it on, Nancy, is that Dossett and Change Line on the 195 minute chart, which recently changed colors. Now, look, we're, you know, this, this is probably not till Monday afternoon when you get the uh, potential for a pullback out there. But what you really want to do is buy some type of pullback. So, don't really see it right now, and that's why I just suggest uh, waiting till Monday. I do hope that helps you out. Jay writes in, and Jay wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol R I O, yeah, uh, Rio de Janeiro, Rio Tinto. What are your thoughts on Rio? Thought it would be, thought it would have hit 88 to 89, but it turned down prior to that. So uh, let me uh, just punch this up on my black screen while these white ones are are taking place here. Uh, so you're looking for it. To, so why did it turn down where it did? Where, what was the resistance uh, up at that 80-ish level out there? And uh, really what was out there was the top of a weekly profile. So let's see here. This should populate. Price, so it, it's actually somewhat hard to make out. But I do want to at least show you what you know where, where resistance was at. And that's from the market profile standpoint. And it kind of gave us a head fake. And the head fake was really the week of March 4th. Even though it doesn't show on my screen out here. That really, that profile, that existing profile at 8036, uh, that was in place then. And, um, and you know, you didn't get two closes above that level. So that was really the head fake. Now you're back inside the profile. And uh, price is on a weekly basis is headed back. Oh, hold on a minute. There's a brand new profile that's forming. Give me a second here. I'm, I apologize, but I need to just I want to get this okay. All right, I got this now. There's a new profile that's actually forming today. It shows up in yesterday's uh, workout here. My black background screen is today. And price pulled back to support, which was 71.69. So right now, you're above the green oscillator and change line. So here's the deal, Jay. If price closes above 73.65, you should see a move back to 80.36 out there. Um, does it get to the 80 level? Let's just pull this back and see what we have. If price can clear the recent high, the recent high from March the 4th out there at 84.69, then the answer to that question would be yes, because that would be suggesting that price would go target the TD9 breakdown level of 89.39. So I don't have a top out here. And all we do, all I do have is price pulling back to test support, which is held. Um, no other really great information uh, glaring out at me when I look at the intraday charts out here. Um, well, that was the weekly that we were looking at. What's the daily show us? So the daily shows us what? Hmm. On the daily chart, this is telling you that the resistance level, in order to get to those 88-ish areas out here, the price is going to have to clear both the top of the daily profile and the green oscillator and change. And they're both at about the same level, which is 75.88, trade at 75.60 right now. So that's the area for you to be watching. And uh, thanks much for writing in, JK. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. We're going to get to the uh, questions for Mimi, for Rich, and for Peter as soon as we get back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. That Dow's up 65, S&P 25, NASDAQ 100, 191, the Russell's up 12 points. Let's go to Mimi's question out here. Mimi had a very specific question, which was, could we please go over the current profile levels for MO? MO is Altria Group out here. And uh, Mimi, you're really up against some uh, real resistance here. If you look at the top of the daily profile, that's at 5205. The top of the weekly profile, 5174. And the top of the monthly profile, 5259. So you've got sellers for all three of those time frames in those areas. Therefore, your price can close above 5259. You probably start heading back to its uh, most recent highs out there. But you're up against resistance. So uh, as far as... Uh, Anything else that I I'm looking at my white background charts. I don't see anything of significance there for you. Uh, so that answers your question. And uh, best of luck. I hope that, that helps you out with regard to your trading. Now, Rich wrote in and Rich want to take a look at XBI. So I think we've already done this. Let me just make sure. Rich writes and he says XBI looks to me to be in breakout mode today, clearing my key resistance levels, moving averages and so forth. Do you agree using your analysis tool? So, yeah, I think we took a look at that. Uh, you also want to take a look at K-Web out here. So K-Web, let me get that going on the uh, white background charts here, and then we'll take a look at the three time frames for the black background charts. K-W-E-B, and uh, that is a uh, China internet company. And price is trading above the top of its daily profile, which is at 30.13. So close above that, you're at 31.54. That would suggest moving up to its descending trend line. The descending trend line on Monday would be at about 34.28 or so. And the top of its weekly, I'm sorry, the bottom of its weekly profile is 35.10. So what I'm looking for is uh, some kind of signal. So. The signal that I do have here, let's change over screens. Give me a moment to do this. That way you can look at it too. And again, this is for ticker symbol KWEB. So on a monthly basis, this has a valid, well, potential valid TD9 count bottom. It needs to close the month above 3273, near 3152 right now. The weekly time frame is going to or appears that it will form a Rhodesman indicator bottom. So that suggests that price should make a move to the bottom of that profile, 3511 out there. On the daily time frame, 
because it's China and you've got currency conversions, I assume out here because I see a number of different gaps, uh, it does have an island bottom, but that could be currency related more than anything else. But we'll just simply fall back to the fact that once price trades above a resistance level, top of a profile would be a resistance level, 3013, that suggests that move to the next resistance area. And Rich, that for you on a daily time frame becomes 36. 47. So that's your analysis of uh, KWEB, and uh, we already took care of XBI for you. So uh, uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Much appreciated. The uh, last question I've got out here so far, it's 145, comes from Peter, and uh, Peter used that small print. So Stevie's got to, got to ask you, Steve, can you relook at the New York Stock Exchange oscillator, advanced client oscillator, for the close yesterday and a reading today? Absolutely. So now, where am I at? I am on the white background charts. Let's get back to the black background charts. We're going to pop up, folks, the advanced decline oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange. What that is or what that represents is the uh, difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average for the advanced decline line. That's what a New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator reading is going to generate for us. And here is that reading, which right now is up at 211.39. So it is into the uh, overbought level. You get into the overbought level when you get above plus 150. You can get more overbought than it is right now. If we go back into coming off of the lows from March of 2020 in April, you got that reading up to 261. We're at 212 right now. Uh, you then had another rally uh, into April 29th, and that reading got up to 306. Uh, you had another rally that uh, led to a, a top out here in June, and that got up to 326. So you see, it can continue to move lower. Price is moving higher as we speak right now in the NYSE, so I don't have any kind of divergence pattern. But it does say it's the time to just simply be careful, watch for patterns out there, because you should see some kind of retracement that begins. It doesn't have to begin at 147 in the afternoon, but over the coming days, that's what we should see. Now, that's, that's one interpretation. Uh, the second interpretation, an additional interpretation is that when price closes above the plus 150 level, that tells us about future higher highs that we should see. Doesn't mean we go to all time highs, but it does say that even though this may only be a counter trend move, that we should still see highs above today's highs. Now, we don't know whether that's on Monday or whether that's on two weeks from Monday, but that is a important signal by being able to close above the plus 150 level out there. So I hope that that helps you out, Peter. I, I think that's baby Peter in Park City and uh, because that's what you were calling about or looking about yesterday. So I do hope that helps you out. Now that takes care of all of the questions that I've got in the queue as we speak. So let's see, what is it that I can share with you over the next two minutes out here? I don't see any requests inside the den. Um, We've taken a gold and silver. Let's uh, let's do this here. Let's just change screens. Let's get to the white background. And uh, let's go take a look at Light Sweet Crude. Nobody's requested to take a look at Light Sweet Crude, but I'm just simply going to do that uh, uh, decision time. So when we take a look at Light Sweet Crude, here's what we see. We see on a weekly basis price pulling back this week, testing and, re and rejecting its green oscillator and change line, 95.87. That is a bullish signal. You're above the oscillator and change line on a monthly basis, top of profile. That is bullish. The daily has a TD9 count top. That's led to basically a consolidation between that high and certainly its breakout level of 87.60 hasn't gotten down there. You're inside a new profile. Light Street Crude has resistance level 105.28. If it can clear that, the next resistance is 108.59. If it can clear that, then you're back to its uh, most recent highs from uh, last week. Um, wave number seven top on the 30 minute that took us back to the breakout level 101.69. You're above the top of its profile. That suggests to move higher. Voila, there comes the 105.29. Looking at us, the 60 minute chart says, hey, you're not getting to 105.29 until you can clear my oscillator and change line. And that's at 103.57. So that would be an area to watch. But I don't see any reason why it can't get up there. Um, the other intraday signals, uh, no top, and uh, look uh, pretty uh, bullish to me. So that's what's going on there. Maybe have been, a, maybe there was a request to take a look at natural gas. Let's see if I've got that set of charts up here. Do we? Do we? Come on, Stevie, tell me you've got them up here. We don't. Okay, let's go take a look at high-grade copper. 
because uh, I don't have enough time to get those things started. So we we'll take a look at high-grade copper. What do we know? Wave number seven on a monthly basis, so that's a potential top. Uh, you've got a Rhodes-Mentum indicator top that confirmed last week. But see how that green oscillator and change line is held? So its signal on a weekly basis is actually neutral. On a daily time frame, price is trading with inside a bullish structured profile. You're above the oscillator and change line. High-grade copper should make a move to the top of that profile. That gets you the 498 level out there. Um, the only short-term issue is the Rhodes indicator top on the 30-minute chart. But shoot, price is still trading above the top of that profile. It's relatively bullish as TV sees them. Folks! Got uh, two minutes, so I'll figure no questions in the uh, in the on deck circle. Oh, way to take that back! Oh my goodness, there's several. Mm. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we got about four questions to do in uh, less than two minutes out here. The first one coming from Brent Martinez, California. Clovis Oncology. I'm just going to really focus on the daily charts for these four questions out here. Brent, you've got a nice uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom that formed uh, three days ago with the bullish hammer candle. Yesterday was bullish engulfing. You're now above the center of its bullish structured profile. A close above 163 is going to suggest a move to 211. 
Now, what's interesting when you take a look at the daily time frame charts here for Clovis Oncology, it hasn't been above the top of a daily profile uh, since about uh, June of last year. So if this can't close above 211, you've got it. Yes, you've got a battleground at 266. But that alone, if it can close above 211, that's where this rally should end in Clovis Oncology, unless it's changing its trend out there. So watch for a ride to 211 and really pay attention to what Clovis does as price gets to that area, should it get to that area. The next question is uh, taking a look at ticker symbol KTOS. And uh, KTOS is on a daily basis is doing what? Well, you got that nice roads momentum indicator bottom, led to a roads momentum indicator top pulled back. I don't know why it found support where it did. It doesn't matter. Price is trading into the resistance zone. And the resistance zone for this is between 1984 and 2125. I don't have anything to suggest it won't make it to 2125, but you are in the battleground area where the snipers are hanging out. And that was ticker symbol KTOS. Uber was another request. Looks like I'll only be able to get to three of the four questions out here. And Uber is trading right into resistance right now. Wave 7, Roadsman Indicator Bob if price can close the day above 3310, you're at 3320 right now. That's going to suggest a further move higher. Now, that further move higher could take you to the 4272 level. What happens if price does not close above 3310? Well, then resistance will have held. But if it does close above that, then resistance will have failed. The second day, that would be Monday, the consecutive session above that resistance level would then give you that confirmation of an attempt to move higher. Folks, thanks so much for joining us here today as well as throughout the entire week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Stay tuned because your favorite polar bear, he's my favorite polar bear, he's up next. Take care. Be safe out there. See you.